Astrid in the ATL is brought to you by Lexus. Experience amazing. This pandemic has affected all of us, Sean, including our local music community. There are thousands of artists who are without work and their future looks uncertain. Rick Astrid in the ATL. She spoke with a local production crew member with the Zach Brown Band on how the music community is coping and the relief that is being provided. And because of the pandemic, the livelihood of the people who bring us music is in limbo. So the Recording Academy and Music Cares came together to start a COVID-19 relief fund. It helps those impacted, but in order to keep helping, more work needs to be done. The longest intermission, COVID-19 canceled gigs and emptied concert venues. We are producers, engineers, singers, songwriters, musicians, tour and live production crews, and thousands more of us. Without us, the music stops. But yeah, yeah right. music is typically what lifts us up during these hard times, times that bring us, you know, to our knees. And we always have entertainment to kind of, you know, kind of guide us through. But now that also has come to a halt. And a little bit of chicken fried. Alpharetta resident Mickey Wade has been in production for 25 years. On just his second week of touring with the Zac Brown Band, coronavirus started spreading. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird, weird feeling to have to know that a career that I've had for 25 years that's provided so much for my family that, you know, it's kind of not there anymore. Following his layoff, Mickey not only lost his income, but his health insurance as well. He relied on his peers and music lovers for assistance and applied for the COVID-19 relief fund. It was started by the Recording Academy and Music Cares. It's a little cushion right now because, you know, I've yet to see a stimulus check or uh, receive unemployment. So all those things haven't happened for me yet, like a lot of other folks here in Georgia and around the country. Currently, 300 music professionals in the Recording Academy Atlanta chapter have benefited from the grants, but the fight to help is far from over. Applications are on pause. There is a dire need for donations to make sure that the show does go on. We've always known gig to gig that there's a little downtime and there's a little bit of, you know, pause between tours and we, we make do with it. It's just part of the job, and, but there are no gigs. Mm -hmm. there, is, there isn't another tour to jump on right now. Now, Music Cares did relax the eligibility guidelines in order to qualify. Before it was five years of employment in the music industry. Now you only need to have three years of employment. But remember, they do need donations. That's all for Astrid in the ATL.